Hi guys, I'm Chantal from Growing Up Without Borders and I'd like to welcome you to southern France in this beautiful little village called Corbe sur Ciel. We're here only for a quick short time because we are visiting what we call our adopted grandparents that we met in Africa. But this is a beautiful village. Before we go any further, let me explain how we ended up in Cold sur ciel this tiny little village in southern France. It all started back in 2018 when we were in the country of Mozambique. We met this lovely couple from the UK, John and Barbara, and soon after meeting them, we decided to adopt them as our new travel grandparents. From Mozambique, we traveled together to Richards Bay, South Africa, and spent another few days there with them. Little did we know, though, when we said goodbye to them, that we would be soon seeing them again in the country of Lesotho. Where in the world are we now? Lesotho. After spending countless hours and a bunch of silly moments together, we finally had a chance to meet back up again here in southern France. So what you're seeing over there in a the distance is the tiny little ancient town called Cold sur ciel And this here is Barbara's beautiful home. If you guys could only see the before and after pictures, it is unreal. She's literally redone every single little room in this house. And over there in a the distance, that used to be the farm. So I'd like to take you on a tour of the house because I feel like it's one of those reality TV shows where they show the before and after of the house and how it's decorated. But seriously, she should have created a TV show when she was redoing the house because it's so beautiful and she's literally redone the whole inside. Okay, so here we go. Here's Barbara, Miss Barbara who owns the house. So here's our grand tour and wait till you see what she's done with this property. It's absolutely amazing. So she redid all the floors in the house. She basically did the whole thing. Everything is absolutely brand new. I'm gonna show you everything. So it's just, for me, this is so cool. It's like almost like a dream home and it's like a resort because of the way she styled it. Everything's so beautiful. This is a door. So everything's like the original kind of old style farm home. They did things like they blasted out walls. So you can see the stairways going up here are like just old and then there's a brand like there's a bathroom but you have the original sink so check this out kind of lay on like even the little window isn't that so adorable you've got a little window like this and you get the nice breeze coming in and then look at this sink so it's angled because i think the original sink from from when they lived here where I lived here. Now let's show upstairs. So she redid this whole room as well. She moved the stove, which was over here. She opened this up and made a door. I mean, her creativity is like mind boggling. She like redid the whole thing. I'm glad. I'm so glad actually that she's allowing me to showcase her home because not everybody would be willing to do that. She's letting us showcase it. So where do we start? Here we go. Let's start with this area here. So this was actually a room that you walked in through here and it connected to her bedroom. And so what she did is she created this wall and knocked this area and made the bedroom smaller, which allowed her to have stairs to go up to the attic. And well, you'll see the addict in one sec. It's absolutely amazing. So she's, she's made all the bedrooms like this, like here. It's like just so cute and quaint. So this is where Julia is staying. I'll show you the girls' room. Let's see. This is where the girls are staying. 
show you the bathroom too. Why not show you the whole tour? This is the bathroom. So she's got it all beautifully modernized. She has heating in the bathrooms like this, so, you know, stay nice and cozy and warm in the winter. Okay, ready for the attic? And look, they, they even utilized like everything. So they kept things like this, the original, and that's where she's storing all her Christmas stuff. And this is like, come discover, come discover the attic. Wait till you see this. So this is what she's done with the attic space. So there was just pigeons literally living inside. She insulated the roof. Gotta be really careful of your head. But she made this whole beautiful living space with a cute little bed here and just like a whole setup. And my favorite part of all is look at this. So you've got your little entryway here. Wait till you see it. This is her bathroom. She's got it set up with a beautiful tub like that. Everything's modern and old all at the same time. Look at this beautiful shower behind here. She's got a glass set up, a little makeup stand that I used this morning. And then she redid all the windows. So those are all new windows and then a little sink area. But see even this she kept. So it's got like the old and the new. So from the kitchen area, you walk out and here was literally barn space, which she took and renovated the whole thing. And it's absolutely gorgeous. They redid the ceiling like that. Let me show you now the best of all is outside. There's John playing with Chloe. Very nice. Isn't that great? I have one. And then here, she's got a beautiful sitting area. This is such a cool car. Here he comes in. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Hi, girls. Only John would drive something like this. Seriously, it's adorable. Chloe's turn. Start it up, Chloe. Rim, rim, rim. It's so cute. Is it comfortable? <laughs>
It's said that Gold Sociale is a place of inspiration for painters, writers, and sculptors, and I can see why. As soon as you enter this medieval village and go through the fortified gates, you feel like you've been transported into a different era. breakfast we had a really yummy french breakfast with berries and croissants and pastries so after that delicious breakfast we set off to go and explore the little town of culte au ciel it only has a population of about a thousand people and it was built back in the year 1222 if you can imagine stunning here. You feel like you're like in Beauty and the Beast almost. There's like shops everywhere and cafes. It's really beautiful. So over there is where you get the view and then this is the top of the town. Our time at John and Barbara's was full of rest and relaxation and of course loads of fun for the girls as they were able to play with other kids who were visiting from the UK. with the adopted grandparents. Please Don't, subscribe. Yeah. Give us a big thumbs up. up. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye. 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 Bye.